Hi, this is Rich Stranger, and for my project, I'm going to uh, hopefully show everybody how to put uh, text inside of an image and uh, colorize it and uh, have a finished product. Now, the uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to locate the image that uh, we're going to put in there. So I've already pre-prepared my uh, images and uh, I'm going to take and uh, go to my uh, file, locate uh, the image that I want and of course drop it into uh, Photoshop and open it. And of course it's a young boy with this guitar, very looking, good looking young boy with a guitar. And uh, since I'm a backup fanatic, the first thing I want to do is uh, basically take it and duplicate this layer so that I always know what I have and then uh, shut the, uh, the original off so I can always refer to it. And uh, the first thing we, we are going to do is uh, get some uh, images on this. And uh, the way we do that is that uh, we're going to create uh, a new uh, duplicate layer from these. Actually, we're going to do uh, two. And uh, so we go that one. And uh, basically, we're going to go up to this one and uh, make it uh, select it. We're going to go to the color range. We're going to go to Shadows, of course, first, and click OK. Command C to select it, and Command J to uh, to uh, basically recreate it. And actually, I made a little mistake here, so we're going to get rid of this layer just uh, because I should have just done it off this original background. I think so. No harm, no foul. We're back up on that. Background copy. We're going to do a, duplicate another layer. This is going to be our midtone, so we're going to go OK. And actually, this one should have been on top of the other one, so we'll do it like that. So we're going to do select again, color range that we've seen in previous uh, videos and tutorials, and uh, basically put everything up to 100% here. Well, not 100%. We're going to render it down a little bit. Until it's adequate, let's just get it right about there, shadows. And uh, click OK. And then another Command J. I mean, a Command C and a Command J to duplicate that layer. And uh, I'm going to up a little bit here, but we'll tag her on. Okay, we're going to go back to the midtones and uh, we're going to open it up. Actually, we don't want to open it up like that. We want to edit, and of course, our uh, famous uh, fill. And what we're going to do is a 50% gray on this one. And click OK. Make sure this click OK. That as uh, midtones, and then go back up to the shadow layer. Cancel out of this. Come up to the edit again, of course. Fill and this one. We're going to fill with black. So we're going to hit OK. But we want to turn. We're going to go back here. We don't want to turn the op opacity down. And also, what we want to do is. Uh, on this fill, make sure that we have the perverse, preserve, perverse, preserve the transparency. So we're going to hit OK. Much better, much nicer there. OK. And we're going to take a little bit of a command P. Cancel out of that. OK. Now we're going to add some text onto these layers. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to merge these layers. So we're going to hit Shift and then right click and merge layers. So that's basically 
Now, what I also like to do, and what I should have done there, is to uh, kind of tell myself what I did with one being uh, midtones, the other one being shadows. But I unfortunately forgot about that. But I did for remember to put these are the merge layers. So we've got that going. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to do our text. So basically, what we have is uh, this. Uh, there. So what we want to do is we want to take and we want to open a new uh, whole uh, file or a document uh, in Photoshop. So we click OK. And of course, uh, as, as always, it's not filled up. So we're going to basically do that ourselves. And what we, how we do that, of course, is go to the rectangular tools, go to this brush strokes, and take it where close it a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact because we're just going to put text on it. Then we select and go into fill and make sure that we don't preserve the, fan, uh, the uh, transparency this time so that it'll fill with white. Okay, I've before this I've uh, taken my text that we're going to basically do. So I have my uh, text here. I copy it in a Word document, of course, and uh, we close it, go back into the text tool, basically draw a box here, and then paste it in there. It's uh, not very big. It's only 12. Let's increase it a little bit and get it up to like 34, just for the sake of argument. Oh, can't do that. Gives you point. How about 34? There we go. Okay, so that's uh, so I, uh, one thing's for sure is when you get there, you got to make sure that uh, it's the size. Let's take this down to 25, just for add an entry again. 25. There we go. Okay, we shrink it down. We're going to make a brush set out of this. So we take it, we enclose it. And uh, go into File, select it, go into File, and say, there we go, select it. And we're going to go into a Define Brush Set. Okay, we take the sample brush and uh, kind of remember the number that it is. So I'm going to just put Rich Text. 252 just to kind of remind me it usually comes up so there we go okay with that and uh, that is a brush for us now we can dis <coughs> discard this or what I usually do sometimes is uh, save it but in any case uh, for this we're gonna go don't save now we're gonna create two new layers so we go to layer new make sure that you're up on top Layer, new, layer. We're going to do two of those. Layer, two. Now, on the first layer, we're going to make this white. I'm going to shut off the merge just for the, there's a background copy if you wanted to see the kind of the two that's going in there. So, we're going to take, shut that off. So I can demonstrate this to you. Of course, we're going to fill this again with white. And this time it worked perfectly for us. We don't need it right now because we're going to do the text. So now we're on this layer. And uh, we're going to take that brush that we found, or that we made, which was the 252. There's Rich right there. And... Uh, of course, we want to see the size. Uh, we don't want to start pasting anything on there. So, Command Z, get it out of there. And uh, here we go. We can uh, take the brush size down uh, using the bracket tool, of course. So, bottom layer. Okay, here 
push the bracket tool, take it down a little bit. There we go. How's that? Very nice. So what I like to do is kind of graduate it. Uh, I also forgot to mention to you, and here is the opacity. If it's too low, you're not going to be able to see anything. But uh, we're back at the long layer. There we go. And we're increasing. There's the opacity. So you should be able to see me and my name now. And as I said, just kind of vary what you're trying to do as opposed to what the text it comes down to. Yeah, we're just doing a very symmetrical pattern here. How's that? Okay, so turn off the brush and uh, we'll turn the merge layer on so you see the, uh, the uh, background copy and also the merge layer that we have. Okay, what we want to do is we want to create a layer mask so we make sure we're on the uh, uh, layer that we're choosing. Go to Add Layer Mask. And of course, by the uh, old Alt click, we select it and uh, kind of turn on the uh, white layer to see what we're doing. So okay, we're going to go back down to uh, the layer that we created, the merge layers, and we're going to go Command A to select it, Command V to uh, Command C to copy, and then we're going to go back up to this Alt Command layer, and we're going to place it in there so that we have uh, the um, colors and the, uh, the, the text. And now, what we want to do is we want to um, basically do a gradient overlay. On this text, so we're back over at the uh, the colors. So uh, we're going to have to choose choose one. So we go down to here, and uh, I've been doing this so much, it's going to something creative. So we'll go to there, and uh, let's see what else we want to choose here. Hit OK. Turn down the opacity a little bit here. And hit OK. And deselect. Okay. Let's go into the blending mode again here. Gradient overlay. Let's turn it up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like much nicer but uh, still not what I want to do so let's go back to the gradient overlay and uh, color overlay there you go oh, it's not a color that I want gradient overlay so let's get something more off there we go okay so for argument's sake there's the text on the picture and uh, that's basically the assignment uh, that you wanted it, me to complete so I hope you enjoyed it we can go a little bit more in depth for my next ones thank you